Welcome to another OLX2 Bite Size. For this uh, sort of demo, I'm going to be using the uh, THPP demo structure that comes with the sample structures as part of the OLX2 package. And the reason I'm doing that is because it has this uh, uh, disorder in the structure and I think it, it might help. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is labels and labeling in OLX2. OLX2 has two streams of labeling. One that you can activate during refinement uh, and it just have it around as you're working through your modeling uh, and one that you'll put on for your final pictures and your posters or presentations whatever you wish to use it for so um, we're going to start out with the the first one which is called labels L A B E L S and when you apply labels um, just as that command is typed um, you basically get the atom labels applied to your structure and I'm just going to change the background color uh, on these pictures. Um, you can do a lot of these commands using the, the F keys. Uh, F3 also allows you to um, make your uh, atom labels appear and disappear. So you can remove labeling at any time by pressing F3. Okay, so uh, you can also access labels through the work tab and inside the work toolbox area there is a uh, sort of drop down menu which allows you to turn on and off labels. For example, I'm going to turn on the atom parts uh, label here. And hopefully, you can see that there is now atom parts being shown up one and two. Now, the nice thing about labels, um, which has a lot more functionality than what you can actually get to using the menu, is that you can combine labels together. So, for example, I can use the labels command and use minus P to activate parts and minus AO to show the actual occupancies as refined in the Shell X refinement. And when I do that, we can instantly see that I now have the actual occupancies from the refinement and also the part numbers. And here we've got uh, 21 and minus 21 as part of this refinement. But you can put any combination in here. It doesn't have to be just limited at two. You could then also put the atom labels on as well. So um, you can basically have in this case, you've got um, the atom label, the part, and the actual occupancy being shown. Okay, and again, you can press F3 to turn that off whenever you want. Um, as with any um, of the commands that I've been showing uh, in, in OLX2, you can always type help and then the command name. And that will give you um, information about the, the, the command you've just typed. Now I'm just gonna do control T here and that will just hide my model, just so you can see the sort of list of parameters that come out of OLX2 from a, a help command. So the second command that I want to talk to you about is the label command, which is, very confusingly, um, just one letter different from the, the first command. So if we do help label, you'll be able to see that it's a very different output to the first uh, command. And this really is because uh, the help uh, the label command is really sort of what you would use uh, at the end of your refinement uh, for making a picture so if I uh, use a selection and I select uh, all of the carbons and all of the nitrogens using the cell command that I discuss in another uh, uh, bite size you can see that all the atoms there that are carbon and nitrogen have been selected if I then apply label I now at have atom labels only on those atoms I've selected. I could also have manually clicked on them and applied label um, to those to get the, the ones that I want. And you can do that for hydrogens as well. Now uh, with the, the label command, if you click on a label and hold down the uh, shift button, you can drag that label to any position near, uh, on, t on, on your model basically. And they sort of sit uh, that sort of uh, distance uh, from where, from where they originally started. Uh, and uh, if you want to get rid of them, it's just a case of uh, selecting uh, and uh, you can press delete and delete individual ones. If you want to get rid of all of them, you select one and do control A to select all labels and delete them. You can access this whole labeling area in the uh, tools option in the images uh, drop down inside there. So in the tools tab, images, you can see uh, lots of uh, parameters that you can change 
for the font, the color, uh, and the type of labels. One nice thing with the label uh, function, which um, you sometimes can use actually as part of your refinement, that if you don't select anything and you type label, it is a, quite a, a blunt uh, technique, but it will, uh, it will apply a label to um, all of the bond lengths as well. And, and as you can see, uh, by doing so, we've now got all the uh, atoms labeled, but also interestingly, the bond lengths have been uh, uh, labeled as well. Uh, and that's really which is uh, something that's quite useful because you can have a quick look and just check that you're happy with those. And again, it's the same procedure. You select one and then Control A to select the rest and then press Delete to get rid of them. Uh, and that's pretty much uh, labels uh, and labeling in OLX2.